Fans are calling out Portia Williams for her hypocrisy when it comes to R. Kelly. Did she meet with R. Kelly after this alleged story that she told recently to People Magazine and in her new book? Welcome back to the Campfire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So you know just last week that we told, retold the story that Portia shared in People Magazine and will be featured in her book about a relationship that she had with R. Kelly. She says that she was trying to pursue a music career when she was 25 years old. She was flown out to Chicago. She met R. Kelly after waiting in his bedroom for hours. She said that she met with him two other times after that, but decided that she did not want to be in relationship with him anymore after she heard a woman being beaten in his home. Fast forward to today. People were linking me to this old footage from 2015. As you know, recently, Portia left the Rick Smiley morning show, Dish Nation uh, situation after eight years. But it was back in 2015 that Portia, along with Ricky Smiley and R. Kelly, they are singing with R. Kelly in this video footage. Damn. So everyone in the comments, everyone is calling her out saying, but you, you had so much to say about R. Kelly in your book now, but you had no problems how many years later singing with him and acting as if you don't know each other in this interview. But here's the thing. And I said this in my original video covering this story. There are a lot of victims that will go back to a situation. A lot of people were critical of her of going back to R. Kelly two, t two other times after that first time of waiting hours in his bedroom when she originally went there for, you know, a music career. That's not unusual. And I don't want to blame women for being put in those positions and feeling the need to be like, OK, I have to do this. I put myself in this position. That is classic. People like to put, you know, blame women for being put in those moments and choosing not to necessarily leave the room or feeling the pressure not to leave the room. I'm not going to fault Portia for that, but I am a little looking at this video. Like, I mean, she has a job to do. Look, I'm trying to be fair. She has a job to do. She can't be like, Oh, I don't want to, you know, interview R Kelly. Maybe at that moment she was like, I don't want to tell them why I don't want to be around R Kelly. It's going to be weird. This is my job. I have to do what I have to do in the video though. She does seem a little uncomfortable. They do ask her to sing. I wish they didn't. I'm so glad we have put behind us the music career that Portia was trying to do. I am so glad. Thank you, Portia. They ask her to sing. She sings. We cringe. And then R. Kelly joins in singing with her. Take a listen. R. Kelly and blow up. You always try to get me to you do sit right stuff. Here, sit right here in front of R. Kelly. Come on, give us a little bit. Okay, um, let me see. All right. I sing because I'm happy. Yes. Huh. Yes. I sing because I'm And I know. Thank you. Come on. Go ahead, sing the rest. He watches all over me. If you watch the footage, and I'll link, as always, because you know what we do here, we cite our sources. I'll link the actual video footage so you guys can take a look at Portia's body language. She, the entire part of this clip, she's facing Ricky Smiley, even though R. Kelly's right next to her. She's not giving her physical um, attention to him. I only towards the end of her singing this song does she sort of turn turn towards him and invites him to sing along with her but i also implore you to look at the comment section a lot of people are like oh she left this part out of the book well come on guys as i said to you before i try to be fair we've 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 knocked portia down for the whole simon gabadia stuff but with this being said I believe in this particular instance, th this is 2015, the early years of her being on Dish Nation. So she probably felt a responsibility. I can't say what I know about this man. Remember back in 2015, even in 2021, people are still listening to R. Kelly and still supporting R. Kelly and doing 
all kind of hoops and hollers for R. Kelly. But in 2015, people weren't judging R. Kelly the same way that they're judging him now. So let's keep all of those things in mind. But, you know, I thought it was worth talking about because we just did the story. And as you know, Portia's new book, The Pursuit of Portia, will be coming out later this month along with her new reality show. The Real Housewives of Atlanta presents Portia's Family Matters. Guys, let's continue the conversation. I want to hear your sides and your thoughts on Portia singing with R. Kelly a few years after. Because I'm, I'm assuming she said that she met him when she was 25. She's definitely in her 30s during this time because this was at the height of her, her Real Housewives of Atlanta appearance. I believe this was probably like her first season. So there were a few years in between. As I said to you before, she looks uncomfortable in the video. But let, let's let's continue the conversation in the comment section. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.